Boy, do I want to see Hermione Granger's blocky animated tits in the Harry Potter video game. Promo it. Um, basically, I'm a salesperson. <laughs> Harry Potter video game, Half Blood Prince. Um, we we spent all um, the last two years working on this game. We think it's great. We got some high advanced video gamers working on the video game. We got some good game creators working on it. Um, based off the successful book and movie Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince, the game comes out on 3DS and Wii U tomorrow. Um, Basically, the whole, a big part of this has been, is Hermione Granger going to be portrayed in a sexual, sexually explicit way to promote sales? Um, yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> before we get to that, um, how many of you guys have ever, you know, masturbated to the image of Hermione Granger, whether video game form or not? You can go ahead and uh, just answer down below so we can get your uh, feedback. Um, but basically, um, halfway through making this game, we were arrested for, um, uh, basically, uh, it's hard to say. It was kind of like, oh, shit, can you get on the owl? Shit, yes. Oh, fuck. It had to do with, um, you know, pornographic animations and a bunch of illegal stuff, selling shit to kids that we shouldn't have done. But anyway, um, we're, oh, shit. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? But basically, we're um, working really hard to uh, uh, get rid of all this legal stuff. And... Why did you do that? I'm trying to get down here. Just get this, put this legal stuff behind us and get back to the game. But anyway, it does come out tomorrow. It's um, uh, $25. I think we can get that trial settled out by tomorrow. So. That should be pretty easy. Um, yeah, uh, I... I have actually played a Harry Potter video game, and it was... Which one was it? I think it was Half-Blood. Well, no, it was... Uh, that's the only one they made no. in the game. No, that's not true, because I've... Are you sure? Yeah, Nikki had a Chamber of Secrets game. Oh. I went over to her house. For real? Uh, yeah. And instead of playing video games like we were originally going to do, we started playing... Or we started watching the show Mind Gym Partners, a monkey, and it was really funny. But, uh, beside that point... Is, yeah. that, is, is <laughs> I, uh, that show about, like, um... Uh, I think it was, No, it was Prisoner of Azkaban was the game we played. Oh, that's the the third one, right? No, yeah, well, is. what the... I don't know. It goes... I thought it was, like, the fifth one. No, Sorcerer's no. Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban. The fifth one's, like, Goblet what? of Fire. What? No, no, the fifth one... Uh, the fifth one is the Half-Blood... No, the fifth one's the Order of the Phoenix. Okay, I it, don't care about Harry Potter. And the sixth one is the Half-Life Prince, and the seventh one is the Deathly Hollows. Okay. So. Now we'll just talk, let's talk some more, um, you know, friendly, easier stuff. Is <laughs> <laughs> If you're gonna bring up Chrissy Hunt. <laughs> is Christianity a myth? Very, very controversial question. John has wanted to talk about this on the cast for a um, while now. Th at least the last 30 minutes. Basically, Yes, it is. But before we jump to, you know, why and all that stuff, um, you're all fucking stupid for believing in God. Um, <laughs> not real. Don't need to fucking tell you. Shit. The idea of it is retarded. That's fucking stupid. Um, mm. so anyway, um, yeah, so that's all I have to say on the topic, honestly. But, um, if I want to get into it, I can talk about, uh, why why you should be punished for believing in Christ. Um, <laughs> but that's really for another day. I don't want to get... I don't want to, like, put my, like, religious beliefs on you. No, I totally do. Anyway, Christianity is awful. Um, if you even <laughs> participate in these religious activities involving Christ, you are going to hell, how you people would phrase it. Um, uh, so I just... Yeah. But the people on Christian Mingle are super hot. Promo Which is why I signed them. I don't yeah. know. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lover420, I think. Yeah. And, uh... Um, I... What the fuck is that shit? But, well, I have one more topic. Okay, we have, we have uh, topic cards and that of, like, shit that we could possibly bring up if we are at a standstill. And, uh, John decided to make all of his... 
Okay. Pretty controversial issues. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, so to say. Definitely have to talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but basically, I did want to, I mean, maybe not right now, but I did, I did want to, you know, bring up the, uh, the question of, is abortion morally wrong? <laughs> now, <laughs> now, before we even get started here, we got to talk about, um, circumstances, because I don't, I can't, uh, speak for abortion in general, I definitely have views on it in circum- certain circumstances, like, if you are white, you should have the privilege to abort, if you are black, you should not. <laughs> if uh, if you yeah. were, if you were raped, regardless, it just completely depends on your race. Um, so if you're black, you're raped. Sorry, if you're white, you're raped. You're white. That's great. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say here. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely head over to Equality. Um, hold on, it's Equality. Uh, hold on, I was just checking it out. It's a doc gov site promoting equality, but I really want you guys to check it out because we want to shut that shit down. Um, equality is stupid, and we don't need it. So. I, uh, I think that he is basically just uh, he's won his presidency. To play this fucking thing, I can't do it. Trying also, to, it's trying to shoot the blue or whatever it's called. I think we're trying to look for one of those hoods. Oh yeah, we also played Mario. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, anyway, I just got a, I just got a viewer question, um, yeah. from Anonymous. The question is, what are your thoughts on feminism? So, that's, uh... I don't think that anyone asked you that. No, no, trust me, I did. Then. Okay. <laughs> but, um, basically, um, if I really wanted to share my thoughts on that. Off, awful idea, um, <laughs> you know, I, fuck I, I know, I see where they're trying to go with that, you know, but trust me, it doesn't need to happen. doesn't need to happen. Men are superior. We can make it work. Um, don't, we don't need females. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I, hey, what's feminism? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, it is, uh... Alright, so, in, uh, in the 1970s, there was, uh... This, uh, Are you going to explain what feminism is? Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. There was uh, a little history lesson for you. There was, uh, there was a crew of cats, and they were like, you know, maybe we should create something that's never been done before. No, wait. No, and before you even begin on the... Uh, yes? Just, do you believe in, in this feminism? Uh, I very much do, by okay. definition. And right. uh, these these cats were like... Uh, by the time so the, why can't it the, be dogs? Uh, by so the time the eighties, it... by the time the eighties came around, no, they were like, we "Well, that thing that we need to start is rap." So then they started the Sugar Hill Gang, and that was oh, fem- and that was feminism. I love feminism. And then by the time uh, the nineties came around, artists like Will Smith were uh, pretty hey, big. Did you know I share a birthday with DJ Jazzy Jeff? I do not believe you. No. I am 100%. Alright, right, he's gonna look it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play well, the game. We need to figure out how to, how to, to complete this task here. I, we, we can Google it after the show. DJ Jazzy Jeff. Birthday. Birthday. So first, my I'm birthday is January 22nd. Okay. So his birthday is also January 22nd, what? 1965. No way. That's He's, some crazy stuff. Uh, my dad is also 49. Okay. Wait, what was this? What was this level called? Cool, cool mountain. Frosty slide for eight red coins. All right. So I need to. I need to get the red coins. You know. Uh. <coughs> hold on. I, uh, <laughs> I was gonna tell a story a couple episodes back, and I forgot about it, but I was, uh, I was, I was, I was up in Target, cause that's what, uh, our, our homies do when we're really bored, and I was, I was with my brother and my sister's ex-boyfriend, <laughs> don't it. Wait, what? And, and, uh, <laughs> so this, this dude walks up to us, and he's like, or he, he works there, and he's like, 
You guys like rap? Haley, we're, we're going like, with Max? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, for a while, but they broke up. And, uh, and then he was, we were like, yeah, sure. And then, so he's like, yeah, you should come do our show at generic venue here. And then, fuck. Yeah. And then but he had this mixtape. But Chandler respectfully rocked. declined because I, his I, race was African American. Ah, uh, so yes. <laughs> you see. So. Uh, no, but it was a Target employee and he's trying to get his shit out there. And he was just like, yeah, you should listen to your mixtape. And then he, he gives it to us. We play it and it's great. It was. I can add on to that actually. Yeah. Track two, one of our favorite okay. songs ever. I'm not going to say the title. Yeah. But it has I, to do with being true to yourself. And only letting other true people in. I, but that, that is track three, John. Are you sure? Yes, I'm oh. 100% sure I listen to that <laughs> CD every day. Well, anyway, track three. It's called, I'm not going to say what it's called. You just. Um, some trailer doesn't have to edit this out. But, basically, so, let's have the scenario. Okay. You know, it's been a yeah. couple months, and, you know, we, we, we still jamming out to this track every now and then. Yeah. So, we're in the car. I think we're on yeah. our way back from Target or Walmart. And this is the same night you were blasting vulgar rap, uh, punk music, I think. Uh, so possibly. We're kind of scouting for uh, skate spots in the streets, and we're kind of driving back home, sort of. And basically, you know, we pull up at a gas station. So, long story short, we had to go to two different gas stations, because the first one was being a vert asshole. But the second one we got to, we were sitting in the car, and, you know, uh, we're just hanging out, and, you know, uh, his brother's paying for gas, and then, and then we were quiet, and we hear the sound, alright, and then, and then Jackson, Jackson, well, his brother, he, he's like, yo, hold up, do you hear that, man? He's like, yo, what's up? And then, I get out of the car, and the car across from us is playing track three. Oh, that guy's mixtape. And so yeah, so I, I, I like got the car out, and they were African American, so I, I felt, okay. like, I felt, <laughs> so I was just like, yo, Ciro de Fresco, what's up, represent? And then they're like, who? Oh. And then we're like, the, the mixtape guy from Target. And they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, I mean, I bet when he plays shows, everybody's just like, all right, you guys ever see what a Fresco? Who? <laughs> that makes them got <laughs> Yo. Um, but yeah. That's a great illegal way to promote yourself. Yeah. I love it. I, is that illegal? Ah, uh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's very, <laughs> very illegal. <laughs> Don't do it. Probably shouldn't have said his name. <laughs> Dude. So another time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was at Walmart by myself. Actually, yeah. Yeah. With my family. Why? Why are you at Walmart if you're not? We there? were in just Kentucky. Dick around. Honest, we were in Kentucky. Okay. Um, but basically, there's this guy that kind of looks like Waka Flocka. Kind of looks like uh, what's his fa- uh, ASAP. Uh, Is that 100 percent based on race? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> race and slightly hairstyle, but mainly race. Um. So anyway, he kind of uh, you know, kind of looks like that, and so his hand out mixtapes. He doesn't work there. He's just hanging out in the front. Yeah, yeah. And I am with my 65-year-old grandma, mm-hmm. okay? So, we're leaving the store. He he reaches to hand my grandma a mixtape, okay? Okay. I and already don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, he's going to hand my grandma a mixtape. Yeah, okay? yeah. So, he's like, hey, man, this is my mixtape. Um, if you go check it out, that will be great. She's like, no, thank you. And then, you know, I wanted, I wanted this mixtape, so I didn't want to ask for it. But, because I don't like talking to black people. But, oh my fucking God. So, <laughs> he was like, so he looked at me for a second. And then he looked away. He's like, oh, it wasn't mixed. So he didn't give me the mixtape. Okay. Because I First of all, I don't believe you. No, nope, this 100% <laughs> happened. This is all true. And this definitely went down. Okay, so, well, uh, I'm... Gonna kill John, I think, uh, just about now, and you can uh, see that when you tune in next time on. I forget what the show is called already. Uh, this is called uh, fuck sixty four jam. 
Philippines.